Are y'all ready for an insane story time that's literally actively taking place as I record this video? So I agreed to join someone at their place for a real chill evening. Movies, card game, a couple of cocktails, harmless. I've known this guy for a couple of years. It's been an on and off kind of situation. Nothing has ever transpired. It's literally like we're basically nothing. Right? So, I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm just here chilling. So, I arrive, and his loft or apartment complex is connected to a hotel, and I see that they have coffee. And I'm like, oh, like, I'm actually tired. I could use a cup of coffee. So, I order my coffee, and we're waiting for my coffee when he says, oh, my ex. What? Is about to walk this way i said your ex he's like yeah my ex i said oh does she live here he says yeah she lives here i said oh interesting so <laughs> so she walks so she walks past and he's like ashton ashton he's calling her name see this is the reason why so many black women make piss poor choices in the men that they date we all see it we all know it. We all hear about it. Today, in this video, we're going to explore why black women make poor choices. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do before we get into anything, we're gonna roll that clip. She's ignoring him and I said, oh, she must be upset. She must be upset because you're with another girl. Are y'all not cool? He says, we were cool up until now, I guess. And I said, oh, damn. So we let it go. So five minutes later, I get my coffee and we walk to the elevator. We see her again. I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Again. So he says, uh, he tries to talk to her again. He's like, Ashton, Ashton. And she's like, I'm good. And she's like, this is Cameron. She's like, I don't care. He says she knows about you. And she's like, I could care less. And her elevator opens. I swear, this is like a movie. Her elevator opens and we get on a separate elevator. So we go into his unit immediately, immediately. I sit down my stuff and he says, I need to go talk to her. It's been 30 minutes. Say, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. I'm just waiting for him to get back but I'm about to leave obviously because this is hella disrespectful <laughs> hella honestly the only reason why I have not left yet is because I need him to reimburse me for the liquor that I bought that he already told me he was gonna reimburse me for and also he ubered me here I need him to uber me back like I'm already taking Ganel. I'm not taking a financial L either. Interested in me? That's why I'm here. So like, you can't be interested in me and like not over your ex. Like, that's crazy. Get the fuck, get the out of here. Okay, guys, I'm really trying to decide if I should. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should take the liquor with me or leave it here. Like, I kind of don't want it, but I bought it, so I'll just take it with me. It's fine. I'll save it. I mean, I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point in my life. The Uber is $20 and it won't kill me. Taking my caramel macchiato and getting the hell up out of here. You see, this is a perfect example of why black women make poor choices. 
You see, this woman, instead of taking her dignity and leaving, she stood around and waited on this guy for almost an hour. Like, why? Why in God's name would you wait for a man for 45 minutes and make a video? Now, before you say it's a skit, even if this was a skit, I really don't believe that it's any different than what modern women go through. This woman was so upset. And see, this, if you notice the attitude of this woman, she is more concerned with, oh my God, I got to pay for an Uber. Oh my God, should I take the alcohol with me? Like you're worried about paying for an Uber and taking alcohol with you than you are about the fact that this man that you were dating or went out on a few dates with decided to leave you in his house or his apartment or condo to chase after his ex. Ladies, I want you to comment. What would you do in this situation? What would you do if you were out with a guy and he saw his ex and he made mention of his ex, he talked to you about his ex, now, keep in mind, you're on a date with this guy. And then he leaves you in his apartment and then proceeds to go fix things with his ex. And see, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. What that man did was not right. If he wasn't over his ex, he should have went back and tried to fix things with his ex instead of trying to date another woman to make his ex jealous. And to me, that that's uncalled for. There's no need to do that. And see, what I'm trying to get women to understand is this is why you are a baby mama. This is the reason why you don't get the men that you want to get. Because you're chasing after the men that really don't want you. The fact that this woman waited so long to leave, I know some women who would have left before she got into her apartment. She would have left immediately. But now, let's look at the response because we have a response from that woman who made a TikTok in response to this one. Let's check that out. So I'm the ex um, in question, and I'm going to start by saying that it's Ashley, not Ashton. Also, um, like no shade to the girl who like made the video. Um, I don't know her. Like I said last night, like I don't care to know her. I don't really care to know who she is. Um, she was just another random girl to me. Like I don't, I don't know. But basically, I literally um, was minding my own business. I had just gotten home. I went to go pick up some dinner. I went and got pizza. And um, my apartment complex has like a, a lobby where it has like a convenience store in it. So I went to stop get something to drink. And as I'm like walking towards like the store, I see someone who looks very familiar. And I'm like, no, I'm probably like tripping. But as I'm getting closer and closer, I'm like, I know damn well this is not my shit. So I see him and then I see the woman next to him and I see that he sees me like immediately. So I'm just like, okay, like I start laughing. So I walk over there to like get my drink. I have to like walk by them. So as I walk by them, I'm not even like paying him any money because I genuinely don't care. And the whole like ex thing, like we've been together for like a year and a half now. We've been like on and off. And we were just talking earlier that day, like we probably broke up like 48 hours like prior to last night, but we break up all the time. Like it's literally like, it's on and off. Um, so yeah, I walk by them, whatever. And all I hear is Ashley, Ashley, stop. And one thing about me is like, I'm always gonna keep it cute. Like I, I don't like, you cannot make me jealous. Like it just, it's not a thing. Like 
because I simply don't care. So when I seen that, I'm like, why are you calling my name? Like, you're literally like, why are you calling my name? So I literally just ignore him and I just like walk to go to drink um, and I go to like check out. Um, and like I said, like no shade to this girl, but I'm gonna tell you like where you went wrong, like or what I would have done differently if I were like in your situation. The minute he would have called my name, I would have been out of there because I'm not gonna let any man who invited me over to his place disrespect me like that in front of my face. Like, I will, like, there's no way that I'm letting a man call out for his ex in front of my face. Like, that's just, that would never happen, like, ever. Like, you should have left right then and there, but no problem. He's like, oh no, you don't understand. Like, she's literally a friend. He literally called her his sister in Christ. Like, yeah. <laughs> this man said that um, she like sends him like Bible verses and scriptures and like spiritual videos, to, like grow closer to God and all this stuff. And He's like, I'm not even attracted to her. Like, you know, I was just having such a hard time dealing with our breakup. Like, and she offered me a shoulder to cry on. Like, just a bunch. <laughs> like, <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, where is this girl? Like, I just, like, <laughs> aren't you going to go back? Like, he has no intentions of going back there. Meanwhile, the girl is downstairs making TikToks after this man literally said, I'm going to go check on my ex. Like, this is where you went wrong again. This is why it's really important, like, as women, we need to, like, know our worth because there's no reason you should have tolerated all the disrespect that you did that night. And, like, I'm sorry for you. Like, I mean, I didn't cause it, but I am sorry for you that you experienced that. Because, again, there's no way that I'm going to stay in a man's apartment that he invited me to while he goes and fixes things with his ex or checks on his ex. I don't know what he said to you. Um, that's just simply not gonna happen. And then, like, I'm watching your video, and I'm like, you seem more mad about like the the money aspect or the alcohol aspect that you bought the the alcohol or whatever than you do about the actual like disrespect that took like that took place. Like, and I'm actually very surprised like he made you pay for it because I've never like paid for a single thing like since I've known this man. I don't even bring my wallet when we go out. Like, so I don't. I don't know. I probably should have like told you something like never let a man make you pay for anything and then cash up you the money back later like that. I feel like that's like common knowledge to everybody. But um, yeah, so I'm not going to tell you guys what went on in my apartment. I'll let you guys use your imagination. Me to me. Me to me. Me to me. Um, but it's probably a good thing that you left when you did because um you would have been there the whole night like by yourself which i didn't know you were there so and i want you to pay very close attention to what this woman said this woman acknowledged that she was dumb too because she already knew what time it was this is a guy that was clearly trying to make her jealous by bringing around another woman and she bit and took the bait because she allowed her. See, I want you to pay close attention. The problem with black women is that you take disrespect from men and you allow bad men to have all the access to you. You allow the bad guy to come back into your life, you give him your body and access to you. And in my opinion, he this man disrespected both of these women. Both women went wrong. And black women, I want you to look at this example because this is not far from what some of you go through. You're dealing with a man, he brings another woman to make you jealous. Then he wants to come back to you as a rebound. Me to me. Me to me. Me to me. You know that it's a rebound, but then you allow him to continue to do whatever it is that he wants to do anyway with no consequences. See, when somebody breaks your boundary, there needs to be consequences. 
The reason why Pookie and Ray Ray is allowed to just do whatever they want to do in your life is because you allow it. You allow men to disrespect you. You allow men to degrade you, to demean you, to dominate you. You allow the bad guy to have his way, to get what he wants. And then when he gets you pregnant or he's done with you, he just throws you away like a piece of trash and then goes on with the next with the next one. And that's the story of a lot of you women. That is the reality of dating for a lot of women. What this woman went through is a sad reality for black women in the dating market. And you pick the wrong guys. And you pick the wrong guys. And you pick the wrong guys. Like, what should have happened? In a perfect world, this is what should have happened. The first girl should have left early on. The second woman shouldn't have opened up her door and given this man access to her body. And then that man would have had to sulk in his own apartment for the rest of the night or call up another woman that he was probably talking to on the side of both of them. And see, this is the reason why so many black women are single. You're seeing it play out in real time. Here comes another response from that said woman. Let's check that one out. Good morning. I'm up. Of course, I went viral because this story is crazy. But here's the update. He texted me at 11. Wait, what time did he text me? 1138. And he said, sorry. That's it. Just sorry. No period. No exclamation point. No emoji. Just sorry. I didn't respond. I didn't have it in me to ask for any money because I my pride would not allow me to. But... You know, he'll never hear from me again. And I think he knows that. So, like, what else is there to say? But this is actually not the first time that I have been in a situation where I paid for something in advance based on the understanding that I'm going to get reimbursed. And then something transpires during the time that I'm with someone and I never get my money back. So, I'm not doing that shit again. Literally, if I have to pay for something, you need to cash at me immediately. A few months later, and he's like, let's go out. And then I'm single. So I'm like, you know what, Cameron, maybe you're being too hard on yourself. Like, just give him another chance. And I've been doing this for like two years. So finally, God has revealed to me in the most outrageous way that this person is not for me and I need to move on. So that's what I'll be doing in 2024. Fresh, clean slate. I'm done. I believe that this woman is going to go back into a situation like this again because let let me break the the game down to you ladies a lot of you ladies just never learn this man had you waiting in his apartment or his place but instead of leaving you wanted to shoot a video and in a video, but the whole reason why was because you wanted him to come back. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You inside of yourself, you wanted him to come back. That's why you waited. And then when he didn't come back, you were upset because you spent money on a guy and you didn't get your return of investment. Then on top of that, you were more upset about the money than how he treated you. And then on top of that, this is not the first time you've been in this situation. So again, you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Learning. When a person shows you who they are 
believe them the first time when he does things to you that you don't like when he puts you in situations that you don't like learn to recognize the difference between a good man and a trash man but yet and still you keep choosing the wrong man hoping and praying that you can change them. You're not going to change them, ladies. The only thing you're going to do is make yourself better and hateful and upset. That's been it for today's video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button and tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. And do not forget, this coming Wednesday night, 6.15 p.m., I will be going live and we will be talking about modern women. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next video. Peace.